powerful Hurricane Gabrielle passes Bermuda and may still be intensifying. Struggling in its early days, Hurricane Gabrielle is now looking very good indeed, just about 200 miles off the coast of Bermuda to the east. Thankfully, it is turning away from the island, and no real strong winds are being seen on the island. However, it is heading towards the Azores in the medium turn, term, currently turning towards the north-northeast right now at a speed of 14 miles per hour. The storm is also intensifying with recon uh, confirming that 125 mile per hour winds are latest estimate and a pressure estimate of 950 millibars as of 5 p.m. local time in Bermuda, uh, that's Atlantic Standard Time, 4 p.m. EDT and 7 p.m. UTC. Here it is displayed on the map, 31.6 degrees north, 61.8 west. As of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, September 22nd, the wind field is the largest on the eastern side, extending up to 140 nautical miles. It is 283 kilometers east of Bermuda, 1325 from Cape Hatteras, 2882 from Flores on the Azores, 3097 from Horta, and 3353 from Ponta Delgada. Now, it may sound like it's relatively far away there with those big numbers, but the storm will be on its way quite quickly as we get through the rest of the week, um, with the storm expected to arrive uh, on the Azores probably on Thursday. By Friday, clearing on through towards the northeast. So the primary hazard that we're concerned about is damaging winds for when the storm does approach the Azores on some or all of the islands on Thursday and Friday with the storm accelerating through them with winds of up to 90 miles per hour or 145 kilometers per hour possible. Heavy rainfall from the storm may also cause localized flooding on the islands with uh, potentially difficult conditions as the storm moves through. Uh, although it will be quite quick as it does so. And this is the forecast that we are putting out right now. The storm obviously continuing that turn towards the northeast could strengthen a little bit further and obviously with winds of 125 miles per hour that would bump into category 4 status if we saw more strengthening. There it is pushing through the central Azores by the time we get through Thursday and Friday and then on towards the Bay of Biscay by the time we get through the weekend. Although that very long term forecast track after the Azores is still very uncertain, it could still pivot further south or north. 125 mile per hour winds right now with decent backing from Recon. They saw over 120 knot flight level winds with drop sons down to around 952 millibars with a 14 knot wind. Estimated pressure there for around 950, maybe even slightly lower. You can also see two areas of interest there on the National Hurricane Center's uh, outlook for potential new tropical cyclone activity coming up. And this is the forecast for Gabrielle then from the National Hurricane Center, their last update from 11 a.m. Uh, 120 mile per hour winds they had at that point, they may go up on their next update, but the main takeaway here is the Thursday, Friday part of the tr uh, forecast track taking it through the Azores, and the percentage chances for tropical storm conditions are rising steeply as well. Over 50% chance for a couple of those islands right now, and that trend I fully expect will continue. Bermuda just hanging on on the edge of that um, big wind field cone there. Well, this is the GFS model, uh, taking the storm on a little bit of a further south trajectory by the looks of things there, hooking eastwards and then really jumping up northwards through the Azores and then stalling out, turning post-tropical very quickly after passing through the islands. We expect that will happen. Uh, sea surface temperatures aren't so good up there. And then the GFS contrary to our forecast actually uh, hinges the storm just along the coast of northwestern Spain and possibly the coast of Portugal there as well. That of course will be long extra tropical by that point but still containing those storm force winds marked in green. Looking at the uh, simulated radar reflectivity as well, uh, the north side of the storm there looking quite decent in terms of rain making as it gets attached onto that frontal system there which really lifts it upwards towards the end of that run. Uh, the southern side however is probably going to be the windier side, the one uh, with the highest wind field and you'll also see on these uh, model runs as well just off the left hand side you might see that next tropical cyclone moving in uh, possibly towards the US East Coast next week. We'll keep you posted on just what might happen with that one. 
uh, but this is the situation with Gabrielle at least. Looking at the total rainfall expectations then, it's really not going to be very much for Bermuda, they're just on the very outer fringes of the preliminary bands it has to be said, uh, but when the storm does push through the Azores you can see quite a lot of rainfall just after it passes through the islands, so that could be a concern, getting up towards 8 inches if that does get pulled back a little bit, that's 200 millimeters. Around 3 inches though is the current forecast for the islands, that will be the central islands I believe, uh, and that is just short of 100 millimeters of rainfall. And looking at sea surface temperatures, there is a little channel there, um, or a trail of warmer waters that pretty much is exactly underneath the forecast for Gabrielle. Uh, however, temperatures will still be falling off quite a bit by the time the storm gets there. Of course, this is air temperature that we're looking at, not sea surface temperatures, but they will be dropping off by the time the storm does get to the Azores. However, in the meantime, the next 24 hours or so is still looking pretty good for the storm, with temperatures over 28 degrees Celsius. Um, which is certainly good enough for Gabrielle to be getting along with. Well, here's some of the latest satellite imagery over the last couple of hours. First of all, looking at COD imagery, and you see that little triangle there is how they've uh, crudely marked Bermuda uh, in the middle of the screen, just on the very edge, getting some cirrus clouds by the looks of things over them right now. No real rainfall, but look at the eye of the storm there, looking pretty decent, it has to be said, clearing out again in those latest frames. I don't think Recon are in the storm right now with any new passes, but when they were in the storm, they were getting constantly uh, the storm continuing to deepen, no signs that it had leveled off. Here's a wide shot showing that Gabrielle is a relatively small hurricane actually. Um, you could probably almost fit it inside a couple of US states. Uh, and there it is now looking at the star imagery. A little bit of a longer uh, time period to look at here, just how that northern and northeasterly turn has managed to manifest. Um, and really blowing up those cloud tops as we look at that sandwich imagery in those last few hours in particular, really getting on with its game. Northeasterly movement, and it looks like it will start to accelerate in that fashion very shortly indeed. Um, and as it is right now, Gabrielle looking pretty good. Small, so it's got a fair little bit of time to possibly strengthen further, as mentioned. Um, it can change very quickly when they when, when storms are of a smaller size usually and certainly with a structure like that i wouldn't put it past gabrielle reaching category 4 status for a time over the course of the next 12 to 24 hours before weakening takes hold in earnest and we'll probably start to see the structure of this thing start to collapse now the western side in terms of convection is looking the best at the moment throwing up some decent cloud tops there eastern side looking just that little bit flaky maybe even a slight dry slot in there although it is hard to tell uh, but certainly the western and southern side is looking the best which is ironic because the uh, highest winds should be on the eastern side and certainly the largest wind field is on that eastern side as well so the storm gradually moving away from Bermuda shortly, of course, along the US coast. As we look at this wider shot, there could be a threat of rip currents and uh, rough sea conditions too. So stay away from the beaches for the next couple of days at least as that storm starts to move away. Looking at the world tropics right now, Tropical Storm Nardo looking a little bit better off the coast of Mexico. Shouldn't be affecting land, but is expected to become a hurricane as it moves out to sea. Gabrielle, of course, a Category 3 storm moving northeasterly. And of course, the Western Pacific continues to rage with Super Typhoon Regassa moving into the South China Sea. Still is a strong Category 4. And Neoguri has no idea what it's doing, stalling all over the place now as a Category 2.